you know, it touched me when the kids even sang me a song before I leave. Um, I didn't know that I could mean so much to these kids. My dream is to help the kids in the rural areas being able to achieve their dreams, to get an education, be successful, or being happy in their life. Nama saya Larissa Ping. Okay, Ping itu nama Kenyah saya. Mak saya seorang uh, dia berbangsa Kenyah dari Long Jilan. One of the reasons why I chose Long Seridan is mainly because my mom grew up in Baram. Long Seridan is actually one of the best places to go because they have a school and most of the students there are Penan children. The Penans are one of the indigenous group in uh, Malaysia and they are also part of the Orang Uyghur ethnic group in Sarawak. So although a lot of them have settled down, but there are still some Penan communities that are still nomadic. Today is the 18th of October. It is a Thursday and we are on our way to Long Suridan. So now we are actually in Long Lama and it is raining. Um, so the roads are pretty slippery. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to expect when we're there. I don't know what time are we going to be there. You never know how Long Suridan would be. So I am excited and I can't wait to see how is it like there. Projek ini adalah untuk memasang teknologi digital di sekolah untuk memberikan inspirasi kepada pelajar-pelajar untuk melanjutkan pelajaran. So IDOP actually stands for Indigenous Digital Outreach Program. It is a program whereby we use digital technology to enhance the education of the students. Uh, we brought computers to the Long Street Dance School and we installed applications for them to enable them to learn how to use a computer properly and also to learn by using a computer. Other than that, we ran sessions with the kids um, to motivate them and also to remind them of the importance of education. It was really touching to see these kids being so dedicated to make their own crown. Everyone carries a crown. It's just not visible. This crown represents a responsibility. I just wanted them to see that crown with their own eyes so that they are always reminded of their responsibility and their dignity. If you have a responsibility to this question, you will be able I think that session was very important to spark back this interest of wanting to go to school and also to achieve their dreams. We have other side projects like we painted murals and also we doing their library. We brought in bean bags and also made the library a better place to study and also a place where they would want to open a book and read. Aside from that, we also went to their parents. So we visited some Penang settlements nearby and it was quite an experience to see how the kids actually live when they're out of school. 
we are on our way to Long Lesuan, which is one of the Penang settlements um, around Long Seridan. So before this, we were walking for about um, 45 minutes through the jungle. The whole journey actually is um, similar to how the parents would meet their children to get them back to their home or when the children have to go home. Can you imagine pe the kids having to go to school to walk almost an hour and also to cross the river just to get to school and to get education. And this is the kind of struggle that they go through every time. And also because they are staying in the hostel, they could not go home as often. <coughs> An eye-opening moment is definitely when I knew that they all are actually very motivated to go to school. I see that a lot of them are very afraid, but they are afraid because of their conditions. They haven't had people going to them and assuring them that they, they can achieve their dreams. And I think this is my task here, to assure them that you know, when you have a dream, you go for it and don't be scared. They told me that they will water the plant as much as they can. And they created a song just for the plant uh, so they will grow healthily. Yeah, I, I'm really touched that they really appreciate every single thing that my team has done for them. Charity has no age. You can start charity at any age and charity always starts small. Um, it is as easy and as simple as being a friend to someone who has no friends and even offering your services to teach a child who do not have the chance to go to school. Always remember to give back and bless another life.